So the first way that I do it, of course, is with just a thin liner glove. And this is something that I would use, say, in more tempered environments where I do want a little bit of warmth, but I don't want the over bulkiness of some type of liner glove. And of course, I just simply put it on. And of course, I can put my hand in the glove. And now not only does my hand stay dry, my hand also stays warm. What's up guys, it's Friday again from Lake Kicker Scooby Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here, and of course, ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now our dry suit series seems to be a very popular series here on YouTube, and you guys just keep asking more and more questions, which is an awesome thing because that gives us more and more content. And one of the questions I keep getting asked is, how do your hands actually stay warm in a dry glove? And more specifically, how do you insulate your hands when they're in a dry glove? And if you don't know what a dry glove is, basically it just attaches to a dry suit and it keeps your hands dry. And just like a dry suit, just because it stays dry doesn't necessarily mean it stays warm. And with dry gloves, of course, we want to keep our hands dry as well and warm. So with that being said, I'm going to show you three different methods that I personally keep my hands dry when I'm wearing dry gloves with my dry suit. So the first way that I do it, of course, is with just a thin liner glove. And this is something that I would use, say, in more tempered environments where I do want a little bit of warmth, but I don't want the over bulkiness of some type of liner glove. And of course, I just simply put it on. And of course, I can put my hand in the glove. And now not only does my hand stay dry, my hand also stays warm. Now the next method is pretty much the exact same way, but it's a little bit thicker glove. And these are the actual liner gloves that come with the SciTech glove lock system or any of the SciTech systems here. Um, and they actually do a little bit better job keeping your hand warm than just a thin liner here. Um, but they do take away some of the dexterity. They're a little bit more bulky, um, but you, they're gonna definitely stay warm uh, if you're in say a little bit colder environments. But there's actually another way that I do it, and this is an older version. Um, and we actually had a comment on one of our videos that this is how they did it. So Blue Water Cosmel commented that they, they did this method. And I've actually done this method quite a bit too. I just simply use a hand warmer. And I wanna show you how I do it to be safe when I do it. So all I do is just simply cut this open. And we are gonna activate the packet here, just kinda of give it a little shake. Now, instead of just sticking this in the glove and having it directly connected to my skin, I'm still going to use some type of liner here to, of course, protect my skin. So I'm gonna put my hand in there and you can either do it on top of the palm or you can do it on the back of the hand. I'm actually gonna do it on the back of the hand. The reason I do that is for me personally, I'm still using my hand underwater to grab on things, to turn wrenches and things like that. And I don't want this necessarily getting in the way like that. So I'm just gonna stick it there on the back of the hand. And of course, when I go to put my glove on, I'll just kind of push it up in there, get it positioned where I need it to be positioned, just like that. And I can, of course, slide it down. I've got this halfway between, say, my hand and my wrist. As you can see, it does not affect any type of movement here. It's not gonna affect any type of accessory that I may need to put on. And that's gonna give me that extra bit of warmth that I need. And of course, if it's, if it's extremely cold water, I'll just simply boost the liner, the thicker liner here. I'm gonna slide it on. Of course, I'll put my hand warmer in. And that thing's already super hot there. So once again, you want to make sure that you're protecting your skin when you do this method. So still wear some type of liner with it. And I'm going to get it slid in there. And as you can see, sometimes you may still have to stuff it down, get it positioned exactly where you need it. And of course, my hand is already sweating that quick. But that's basically how I keep my hands warm in dry gloves in colder environments. So there you go, guys. That's how I keep my hands warm in my dry gloves. I got a set of thin liners, a set of thick liners, and of course I can use the hand warmer as well with both to keep my hands nice and toasty. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or comments or concerns, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to get to you as quickly as I can and answer it the best I can as well. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.